Welcome back, everybody. It's, of course, Sport Federation TV. It's great to have you along. We carry talking about sport in the province, and you'll know that one of the codes that we always talk about is chess. Chess is very active. And, of course, uh, last week we had Jesse February on the show with us uh, talking about the chess event coming up on the West Coast. You'll remember that it wasn't so long ago that we spoke to um, chess champion Rebecca Selkirk. We spoke to Shabs Bawadin, the, the uh, winner of the Western Cape um, uh, chess tournament. Well, of course, as I mentioned, on the West Coast last week, the Western Cape Champs was held in... Um, um, up on the West Coast. And it was, of course, also very focused around uh, women's chest. Anzel uh, Lopesha is uh, joining us. She's back. Anzel, of course, international chess master. Anzel, welcome back to Federation TV. How are you? Um, well, thanks, JP. It's always nice to be back with you guys. Feels like home. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you know, you are no stranger to to the world of sport, but of course, no stranger to our viewers and the people that are watching the show as well. Um, international Chess Grandmaster. Just make sure I got that name right, the title. No, I wish, I wish you did, but you have to unfortunately take the grand part out. I'm just an international master. Next step will be Grandmaster, hopefully. How do you go from master to Grandmaster? Uh, JP, we need to play international events and you have to get a certain rating and win certain tournaments. So it's not, at the moment, it's, it's, it's tough because we can't travel, you know. So, yeah, we need to play certain international events. Last week was a big event for you guys. You were, you were one of the big draw cards in the, in, at the West Coast. Uh, we had a fantastic conversation with Jesse February, who, who was one of the guest players um, at the event. Um, and, of course, also a lot of focus on women's chess. But just tell us a little bit about, about the event itself. We believe that you walked away with the title yet again. Yeah, I was, I was very blessed to, to win the... Um, to, or to, to defend my title of, of um, Western Cape Women's Champion. Um, the last one I won in, uh, in 2019. Oh, you know, with lockdown, it feels like 19 something, but 2019. And last year we didn't have the championship. And then this year again. So I went back to defend my title successfully. And it was amazing. Um, this was the first tournament I played in 18 months over the board tournament. I played a little bit online, but that doesn't count. Um, over the board was the first time in 18 months. And it was amazing to be back in Mykonos, in Langebaan. And um, as the defending champion, they gave me my free accommodation and some other conditions. And it was amazing. It was just so nice to see my chess family again after 18 months. So just tell us a little bit, a little bit about the makeup of this uh, type of tournament for folks who, who don't understand necessarily how a chess competition works. I mean, when we watch um, a, um, a football match on, on TV, it's 90 minutes and it's over and done. And when you watch a rugby match, it's 80 minutes and it's over and done. Um, but with you guys, you, you play quite a few matches. Yes, we started on Friday night. We played one game, Saturday two, Sunday two, and Monday morning one. And each round, um, we each get a certain time control per round, which can take you up to three hours or four hours of play. And like I've played most of my games, I've played my three hours full. Is that how long it could take, the average chess match? Yes, yes. It depends on the time control in this, in this specific event. Um, it's unlikely to go over three and a half, four hours. But in most of the international events that we normally play in normal times when we can travel abroad, uh, five hours, six hours. Wow. Does it work in a knockout format where you play, or is it a round robin, or how does the, the, the competition format work? Because, I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, there must be two players going face-to-face. -face. Yes, um, this specific event was an open event. So anyone could enter, and then um, men and women, and we play in one section. So you play against someone with the same score, who is on your score. So if you win the first round, the second round you will play against someone who's also got one out of one and the next round. If you lose, then you play against someone who also has one out of two, for instance, or two out of two. Who were the tough competitors that you came up against? Uh, I mean, when we, when, we, when we interviewed Shabs Bawadin, the uh, recent winner of Western Cape Chess Champs, he said that 
it it you never you never knew who you were going to come up against uh, it could be any age group and um and uh, of course in this case it was a women's championship but you you didn't know who would who, how the players would perform on the day yeah well i didn't even know how i would perform on the day jp i haven't played for 18 months so i didn't even trust myself so it was quite interesting to just to just be yourself and try to play again um but they were they were some tough competitors and uh, well i also have to congratulate the 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 overall winners who was regan palmer and second was Cecil um olsen and third was Charlize from sale from pe so um they yeah. they also did really well in the event and um we didn't play each other but it, it just didn't work out like that at for the, for this specific event um, but I think if we had more rounds, we would have played each other differently. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next big event for you? Well, JP, hopefully the close, the SA Ladies Closed in um, December. Um, I hope it will be in Cape Town. It's normally hosted in Cape Town, but we'll see. It all depends on our next family meeting, you know, uh, and, and to, to see where we are at, uh, with the lockdown levels. Yeah. But it's scheduled yeah. for December. It's normally a 10-day event with 12 players round robin. So the yeah. top 12 women and top 12 men to select the Olympia team, the national team for next year. So you mentioned that you haven't been able to compete for 18 months. Um, now you're telling me that your next event is uh, four months away or five months away. How do you prepare for an event like this? Well, at this stage, mostly studying chess. Um, I have to, and I work with my coach as well. So I need to, I need to, uh, this weekend's tournament was a really good baseline for me to see where I'm at. And we all change, you know, uh, we have different changes during lockdown. And it's amazing how it affects your sport in that sense. And, and yeah. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. So I will work from that now. I use this tournament from this weekend as a baseline. And then um, in chess, we can study a lot of theory. So if, if you have your books and you can watch online, videos and work with your coach. Luckily, it works well like that for chess. One of the big elements here was, of course, the promotion of women's chess. Um, and a lot of dynamics that went into this, a lot of planning and some special yeah. events. Um, it was fantastic to hear that Jesse February was going to play against 40 players, if I, if I have my information right. But that, all of that with the intention of promoting women's chess. How are we doing with women's chess? Because when I speak to you guys, there are definitely some real champions like yourself in the ranks. Uh, um, JP, I think in general in South Africa, women's chess is 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 improving. You know, and we um, there's a lot done because there's sections and they they do a, we do a lot to promote women's chess, and especially in Western Cape. I really want to want to honor them in that and congratulate yeah. them on what they do for women's chess in South Africa. The, I mean, the conditions we got this weekend at Mykonos, Jesse and myself, was, it was just amazing, you know, and and it's because we to honor Women's Month and Women's Chess. So definitely. Are we seeing young girls come through the ranks? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Definitely. Definitely. And And it's amazing how how the girls are now suddenly um, performing against the boys as well. There was, there was, to my, in my opinion, there was a time where girls were getting it a bit soft, if I can put it like that. Like when I was young, there was no such thing as you play in girls' sections or anything. I had to play against the old women when I was nine and ten years old, you know. Um, but it makes you tough. And now it seems like the, there's, a, there's this new, this new generation coming through is tough. They, these girls want to fight. So you recommend that moms and dads get their uh, uh, get their, their their women and girls signed up to play chess. Yes, definitely, but not just for that reason. There are many other benefits as well, and yeah. um, definitely. And of course, uh, chess is one of those fantastic sports that you can play at home. Yes, and you can play online or you can play. Um, over the board and especially now during lockdown this was actually the perfect sport to do which you yeah. could play online and zell we'll leave it at that congratulations on again uh on defending your title 
Um, it, it's really incredible. Uh, thanks for joining us on the show. Um, I think that for all our viewers to see you and the success that you're having is inspirational. And from a Western Cape chess perspective, you guys are doing fantastic. And it's, it's, it's really great to know that sport is out there and the likes of, of, of chess is active and busy and staying in touch with their members and planning behind the scenes. So fantastic chatting to you. And, and we look forward to, to finding out more as you head up to the, to the big close championships at the end of the year. Thank you, JP. Thank you so much for the interview and the listeners for, for watching. There we go, folks. Um, Anzal Lopesha, international chess master. And as she said, she is on her way to becoming a grandmaster. She just needs to travel more and uh, compete internationally more. And of course, we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to seeing all our athletes have these international opportunities. But she is the current defending champion um, in the Western Cape. And I'm sure she's going to be um, um, a, uh, let's say, athlete to be reckoned with in the close championships then at the end of the year. Folks, we'll take an ad break when we come back from the break. We'll carry on talking about sport in the province. Don't go away. Back in a sec.